everyone, Natalie Willis here with the Baby Sleep Trainer, teaming up with Nook to talk about how to dress your baby for sleep. The first thing I want everyone to know is that it's actually a lot more dangerous and a lot easier than parents think for babies to overheat than it is dangerous for them to be too cold while they sleep. I think it's pretty natural for most parents, especially if we have grandparents from a different generation, to really worry about their baby being too cold while they sleep. But in actuality, overdressing them is the thing that you really want to avoid. In most homes, we're pretty easily able to control the baby's temperature in their room and keep it, I would say, ideally between 68 to 72. Cold hands and cold feet don't necessarily indicate that your baby is too cold. In fact, even when they are dressed properly, their hands and their feet will actually still be cold to the touch, which can be a little alarming, uh, especially to new parents, but that's because babies' hearts are actually still pretty immature and they're still really growing and learning how to circulate blood really efficiently, which means by the time the blood reaches the tips of the fingers or the tips of the toes, it's actually cooled off a little bit. So you really want to use your baby's head, their neck, and their chest, and the rest of their trunk to, as an indicator to see whether or not they really are too cold or even too warm. So if your baby's chest is nice warm temperature, that probably means that your baby is adequately dressed even if their hands and their feet are cold. Also keep in mind that most babies around uh, the entire year, really all four seasons, are sufficiently dressed if they are in a footed sleeper with long sleeves. Of course in the summertime, especially if the room trends towards being a little bit warmer, sleeping in a just a diaper or even a onesie is totally appropriate, but in the winter time, just a long sleeve footed sleeper is sufficient. If you want to use a sleep sack because you feel that that's necessary for your baby, great, no problem at all. Make sure that you use one that's sleeveless and one that's non-weighted. Especially for younger babies, sleep sacks that are weighted can keep them from moving around and that can be quite dangerous. Dressing baby for sleep should never involve any articles of clothing that can come off easily, like a hat or mittens or even socks. It's better to use a sleep sack or a sleep sack with a really well-fitted sleeve or again, no sleep sack at all and just a footed sleeper or a onesie rather than using anything that can come off of your baby and end up in their mouth or covering their face.